Hello everybody, my name is GameCube Dude, and welcome back to Lily's Well. So last time I made some, but not really much, progress in getting into the well. Getting into the well and staying alive, at least. So in this episode, my sole goal is to get into the well alive. I can worry about maybe getting the true ending in the third episode or something. For now, I just want to see what's in that well. In order to do so, I'm going to need all the items that can be good rope material. I don't remember those flowers there last time. Were those there? I don't recall. Hmm. Three flowers are growing here together. The flowers seem to be reaching for the lamp near the house. Hmm. I wonder, was there... Are these also, uh... No, it's just these flowers. Let me, uh... Let me check the files. Oh, right. Because I died and it reloaded, I have to read those files again in the cabinet. I wonder, actually... I wonder if you need to, like, actually collect everything. Like, all the important text and whatnot. I wonder if that has effect on how the game turns out. Okay, so I just read the letter from Vic. Yeah, okay, there it is. Okay, so according to the notes about the plants in the area, those little white flowers might actually be a dwarf mandragora. So let's go see if I can pick it. Hi there. Three flowers are growing here. Look. These fla the flowers seem to be reaching for the lamp near that- I read that. Uh, okay. Take! You don't really want to be around this plant for some reason. Well, okay then. Alright, the bolt cutters. Somebody in the comments actually recommended to me that I try using the bolt cutters on this. So I have to go into the menu, stuff, bolt cutters, use. The chain lining the bridge can make for a good rope. Cut and take the chains for climbing? Yes. It takes some extra strength, but you managed to snip the chain. You took the chain. Sweet, that worked. Thank you, person who recommended me do that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take the garden shears over to that vine with the blue thorns, because that definitely worked last time. I'm not sure I ever went down now that I think about it. Okay, let me collect this real fast and then I'll try going that way. This vine might be able to serve as a possible rope. Cut and take the blue thorn vine for climbing. Yes! You carefully cut down the vine and use the shears to trim the thorns. You took the blue thorned vine. Nice. Hey, actually, that red thorned vine. Oh, I think that one. I didn't even notice that one last time. I think the notes said that one uh, is not very good once it's cut, so we'll ignore that one. Oh, there's a path down this way. Oh, a road. Now's not the time to be playing in the road. What the hell? Achievement unlocked street smarts. Are you kidding me? When determining between good and bad rope, it is possible to keep testing singular parts and seeing how they affect the lily in the well. Um. Oh, I think I get what it means. And I'm right back to where I was. Isn't there like a... Back to title. Can I load? Resume. Save. Uh... What do we have here? Stuff. What do I have? Nothing? What the hell? Uh, alright. I guess I'll just start collecting everything again. Hey, yo, I can see a pair of eyes in the corner. <laughs> uh... Okay. Who are you and what do you want? I have garden shears, so don't try anything funny. There's someone watching you from the darkness. If I leave and come back, no. 
They're still there. Better be careful. Okay, there's a rock. The trash can is ready for pickup. You can put any unwanted rope parts in here. Okay. No, discarded rope materials cannot be taken out of the trash. Sort through ropes and choose what to discard. No, I don't need to discard anything yet. Check the mailbox? Yes, no mail today. All right. I see this rock here, so it's a pretty big rock. I'm going to take it. It's probably going to be heavy. Take the rock. Yes. The weight of the rock slows your movement. That's fine because I have something in mind to do with the rock. My plan is I'm going to try and throw the rock in the river again. This time, I'm going to actually make sure I select the rock in the menu. Let's try this. Stuff. Use the rock. You put the rock in the water. It might help make a path across. I thought so. Place the rock in the water. You carefully put the rock in the water. Why am I, why am I still so slow? I don't think the bolt cutters slowed me down that much last time. Oh, whatever. All right, so let's just find all the different rocks. And, oh, okay, she's back to normal speed. As I was saying, let's go ahead and get all the rocks and put them in the water. Can I take more than one rock, I wonder? Let's find out. It's a pretty big rock on the ground. It's probably going to be heavy. Yes, you're already holding a rock. You cannot hold another one without crushing your bones. She cut... She cut the chain off the bridge. I don't think she's that weak. Unless it really is that big and heavy of a rock. Well, now that I look at it, actually the rock is kind of like half her body size. Okay, all right, never mind me. The game was right. I was wrong. You put the rock in the water. It might make help make a path across. I have already read this. All right. Another rock down. Now, I think there was one more rock. Was it in here, maybe? No? Hmm. I, I feel like there was another one somewhere. Let me check. Oh, no. I think there's enough rocks to get across. Um, okay. What is this? Do I go in? What? Why is there a rug here? And what's this? There's a knife with a strange blade hanging on the wall. The knife has a wavy blade and an oily liquid on it. Oh no. Is that blood? This doesn't belong to you. Take the knife. You took the knife. Okay. Now what is this thing? There's a worn birthday card. Read it? Yes. The front of the card has a picture of a black rabbit holding a flower. It reads, Happy one year of being here. On the inside is a picture of even more black rabbits holding flowers. It reads, Happy first birthday, Lily. July 20th, 1985. Huh? Wait, hold on. Okay, this game takes place in the year 2005. I know that from the Steam page. This would mean Lily is supposed to be 20 years old, but she's nine. I'm playing as a nine-year-old girl. Hmm... That's weird. You've grown so much in just a year. Never forget that you are surrounded by people who love you. With love, Auntie Mifuyu. Wait, Auntie Mifuyu? I wasn't it Mifuyu last time. Now it's Mifuyu. Okay. Either my memory is bugged to hell, or something ain't right here. All right, let's just get out of this cave for now. And what is this, a fishing net? A net protects a group of small underwater plants. The net is made of thick fishing wire. Can I take this for a rope? The net is held down by spikes. 
Pulling at it causes small cuts to form in your damp palms. Oh, that sucks. Okay, maybe there's a way to remove these, uh, things. Um, probably not with, uh, I could, I could try the bolt cutters, actually. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that seems like a good position. The net seems to be pretty sturdy. Cut it and use it as a rope? Yes, you cut the net free it from the stakes it was attached to. You took the net. Okay, cool. Alrighty then. Now, let's see, is there anything else in here? I wonder if the bag of mulch can be used for something. Hmm. Old broken weed racker. I don't see myself needing that. And then there's the extension cord. Take it as rope. Yes. Okay, so how many things of rope does that uh, get me to? That's six. Okay, that's the fishing net. It was said to be strong. The chain, the extension cord for the TV in the living room. Belts, the thorn vine, and the sheets. All this seems like pretty solid stuff. But an extension cord that's specifically for the TV in the living room? Why is it all the way in their garden shed? Seems a little odd. Hmm. Maybe we can explore the house a little bit. Let's see. No, face the TV. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't use it for anything. Okay, so it's things that are for rope. You can't use them for anything else besides rope. Okay. Right, the knitting needles are under the couch. Okay, so we've got those, whatever they're for. This is the turtle pond. Look, it's too dark to see below the surface of the water, but you can see a couple turtle shells around the pond. Papa always told you not to touch the turtles because they can bite your fingers and toes. Bite off your fingers and toes. Uh, I got a feeling if I try and take something, I'm gonna get Lily's fingers bit off. So, how many? I think I have six things of rope now. And there's 15 potential things. I'm not sure six is really gonna cut it. That dude's still there. There's a real rope right there. I wonder, maybe... Did I, have I tried the shears on the, this yet? The rope holds strong, but the shears could cut them. Cut and take the tire rope for... All right, sweet, it works! The rope holds thick, but the swing goes down. You took the tire swing rope. Now the tire sits on the ground, no longer a swing. You hope that Papa will retie the swing when he comes back. Papa never taught you bowline knots? Just, uh, just various bend knots. Hmm. Can I take the tire? The tire is so large that you wouldn't be able to wrap your arms around it. It's just here as a reminder that you ruined something Papa made for you. Way to go, brat. Alright, that's seven things of rope. I think my odds are pretty good. Let's go ahead and try going down the well. You currently hold seven pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin descent? Yes. All right, so I think the way this works is like, okay, so that's sh one screen, two, I think you go down the number of screens, the same number of good rope materials you have. Okay, so that was three, four. Oh, so you need at least four. What's this? Uh, Oh, okay. These are different parts of the well you can get to. Oh, did I? Huh? The rope has come to an end. But, oh? There's a vine growing along the walls, but you don't see how deep it goes. No, 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 no. That's the, that's the purple suction cup plant vine thing. No, 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 no. Don't touch that. God dang it, Lily! You manage to jump onto the vine, getting a good grip on it, and it murders you. 
Oh no. It seems to have a good grip on you too. The purple leaves of the vine stick into you, wrapping you closer into the plant. Is this is this the one that sucks your blood? Yeah, that's the one that sucks your blood. It begins to suck out the blood from your body. You remember reading about this in that plant book. How unfortunate of you to discover the overcast vamp vine in here of all places. Wait. Did you read that book? Well, yes, but not in this run. Wait, what did that... You are now too weak to scream. What did that say? Dang it. Too weak to keep your eyes open. Too weak to continue. <laughs> feed me, Lily, feed me. I think that's a reference to, uh... That might be a little reference to uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Ah, another piece of the phone number. So maybe if I just get four pieces of rope and maybe go into that, uh, whatever it was, a drain line looking thing that was in the well, I'm going to give that a shot. Hey, okay, look. It's that plant. I think that's the same plant that just killed me. Okay, so things do change their positions in this game. All right, so I'm not crazy. That's good. All right, so now I have exactly four pieces of rope, as the game just told you. So now let's see what happens when I descend with just these four. That's leaking green goo now that I look at it. This is probably a bad idea. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless. But there seems to be another tunnel you can reach. Perhaps this is where the voice was coming from. All right, cool. This is creepy. And there's some kind of electrostatic interference sound effect going on. I don't like it. You can see the lake outside. You are suspended high in the air looking down upon it. The weather is causing waves to crash violently against the rocky shores below. Oh. Great. Um, for whatever reason, the floodgates just opened out of nowhere. Your body is washed out of the drainage pipes into the lake. Before hitting the water, your face makes direct contact with the rocks below. Oh. Oh. Oh, yikes. That. Not even Papa would recognize you now. <sighs> Achievement unlocked. I can drown. Yeah. That's three of the ten digits. There's a small detail hidden outside that helps show which main endings you have have been found. Really? All right, this time I need to collect just five pieces of rope. Now there's another plant there. This one looks like, <laughs> this one looks like it's just growing hot dogs. All right, now I have five pieces of rope. Let's see what happens. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless, but 
A darkened window juts out from the side of the well's wall. It's slightly open. You swing closer to peek. But you overshoot it and tumble into the pitch black room. Oh, great. Seems like you landed on something soft. Ah, uh, that's not good. You try to feel around to get a sense of your surroundings. Huh? What? Papa? Lily? Papa? Where? I thought... Shh, it's okay, Lily. You're just having a bad dream. No, you went to work, and there was a voice. A voice? What kind of voice? Uh, um, it came from the well. Oh, the well? I hope you didn't go near it. The voice sounded like she was in trouble. I wanted to save her. Now, Lily, even in a dream, you need to remember what Papa tells you. But you weren't there! Lily, good girls listen to Papa even when he isn't home. Especially when you hear voices from outside. That's how bad little girls get kidnapped or eaten. Will you remember that, Lily? Yes, Papa. Will you? Will you remember it down to your soul? Yes, Papa. Good girl. Good night, Lily. Good night, Papa. Under Papa's watch, you quietly go to sleep. His words ring through your head as you lose consciousness. His words ring through your head as you lose consciousness. His words ring through your head as you... Oh, no! But why? Mothering Affection. <laughs> That's a hell of an achievement name. That makes no sense. Why would he kill his own daughter? That son of a bitch is hiding a super gross and dark secret. And I'm gonna find out what it is. You will know when you've gotten the true ending when the credits start to roll. Good to know. Did anyone else see that? I... I saw what looks like... Lily and Papa for just a single frame. Wait a minute. Is this? Five flowers are growing here together. What happens if I try and take? You don't really want to be around this plant for some reason. Oh, could these flowers represent the endings you've gotten? Okay, so, like, what, is this ending three, this ending four, and that's ending five? And this is ending, how many is that? Seven? Okay. So, as far as I know right now, there's at least seven endings. There's gotta be more, though, because of that ten-digit phone number. The rocks are all still in place. So this time I'm going down there with just six pieces of rope. All right, here we go. The rope has come to an end. There seems to be a large room here. What a strange room. Wait, what the hell? What is that? You look closer at the unknown pile in the corner. Uh... What? Oh. Jesus, that's disturbing! It is a corpse covered in maggots. 
Do you know what maggots are, Lily? You've learned about them before. Yes. They are baby flies that eat dead things. Oh, now what? You no longer hear the sound of rain, but it is now pitch black. Someone must have covered the well. Oh, crap. Well, now. Even though you can't see, you may want to get comfortable with the maggots. What? They may be your only company for a while. Itchy, tasty? What the hell? So is there like a different ending for every single different length of rope you have? Hmm. The average water temperature of Lake Champlain, or is that, is that supposed to be Champagne? I don't know. I don't remember how to spell Champagne. Uh, in spring is 92 point, or 93.2 F. I guess that means degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, four degrees Celsius for those in other countries. Again, for a single frame, I can see something on the screen. Skip the intro. Yes. All right, I've got the sheets. This time, I'll just do one piece of rope. Hey, look. I think this is another plant. Six flowers. Okay, so that was ending six. All right. Currently hold one piece of rope. Use it to descend. Yes. Yes. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless. No voices can be heard. Just the sound of your own breathing. And what's that sound? It sounds like... What the?! No, don't do it, bro. He's like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Those two frames were like, hey, I'm gonna do it. No, no, don't do it, don't do it. I'm gonna do it, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Who the hell was that? And the same death screen. I wonder if that counts as a different ending, though. Achievement unlocked. Don't look up. Was that the same guy who was, like, in the woods looking at us? Those two little glowing eyes I saw? So it seems like my theory was correct. I'm going to get a different ending for each piece of rope. I go down into the well with. So next I should try two. I'm going to assume, however, that having uh, just one piece of bad rope will give you the bad rope ending no matter what. Hmm? A single flower is growing here. Okay, so that was ending one. Two pieces of possible rope. Let us descend. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless. No voices can be heard. Just the sound of your own breathing and the rain falling from above. It mixes with your sweat, making your hands uncomfortable. Oh no. You decide to give up and climb back up. The task is much more difficult than lowering yourself down. The pain in your hands and the moisture in the area create a terrible combination. Oh. You lose your grip and fall. <sighs> That's hard to look at every time. Dead end. Achievement unlocked. Butterfingers. So you get an achievement for every ending? I only have three numbers left to find in this phone number. You will know if you've gotten the true ending when the... Yeah, I know. Okay, I saw the Lily sprite there. It could actually just be... Uh, it could just be the game has the last sprite of Lily that it used stuck in a kind of limbo. Maybe it doesn't actually mean anything. Maybe it's just a little glitch. I wonder something, actually. Let's see... 
Can you go down the well with no rope? You currently hold zero pieces of rope. Going in without a rope is unwise. Okay, so the game doesn't even let you in there. So I've gone down with one. Is that two? Two flowers. Okay, that means uh, three pieces of rope, four pieces of rope, five pieces of rope, six pieces of rope, and seven pieces of rope. Hmm, maybe if I try collecting all the good ones and then maybe get some of the bad rope, it'll give different endings. That's probably worth a try. I could also try just all 15 pieces of rope and see what that does. I think, however, I'm going to have to save that for next time. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, click the little bell icon so you know when I've published a video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.